There she blows. The paper is just graph paper and it's just sort of crinkly and you know because it's just not very stiff like a, you know wood or stuff would be. You know one of the benefits of building a model is that you can actually scale everything down. I can actually see the dimensions of the boat, the lines of the boat. You can see what we have here is a long narrow boat is exactly what we're looking for. I mean now some people build a boat they can you know a lot of engineers have these cool line drawings which I eventually want to have but really just some good old graph paper and some pencil can you can design a boat but you want to build a model first like one of the things i had to learn was that top there is 16 feet while the bottom this bottom plank here is only about 15 foot six inches because of the, the way the angles work and the thing the flare and things it's six inches shorter than the top of the boat you know i never would have guessed that if i had just built the boat i would wonder why why is the bottom longer well now i know why because it just you know, the way the bow and the transom flare out, you know, the, the total sum of that uh, distance is, guess what, six inches shorter. Ideally, what I should have done is taken these pieces and glued them to some balsa wood, and then I could have actually tape seamed the balsa wood with epoxy and made a real actual a true flush model of it and also too I don't have any support ribs here to stiffen it up either which the, the boat will have plenty of and another thing I realized that well flare here on the transom it flares out slightly it's not perfectly vertical but vertical but it flares out slightly but the bow is perfectly vertical so the, I had to figure out okay because I built the model one I could see exactly where I need to place my support struts how many to place uh, although all the support struts would be at the same angle, I had to figure out here at the front, we got a transition from this flare to straight up, which means the, the sides are going to go from this to this, right? And they're going to have a twist and a bend in them. And I'm thinking, well, gosh, it's wood. You don't want to bend and twist it too much. This aluminum bends and twists throughout the whole boat, whereas this boat won't have that bend and twist but really essentially toward the front. But I realized, okay, now that I know where the support struts are gonna be, I can say, okay, I can change the dimensions of some of those support struts so that, guess what? They actually help the wood transition without any severe bends or twists that could form a crack. That's the kind of problem you can sort out with, the, with this. So if anybody wants to design one of these, I thought about putting a class up on Teachable showing people how to, you know, with the boat plans and drawings to show you actually how to do this sort of thing so you can sort these sorts of things out. So not only do you have the plans, but you can actually design the boat yourself to your dimensions, uh, although you'll have my line drawings with it. But anyway, there you have it.